Now, I immediately already forgot what year this came out, and I want to I want to know that because I feel like that's going to be big. 2003. Shit. So I don't know literally anything about this, man. I, I know I say that about every movie I watch, but at least going into the second one, I had heard a lot of good things. So I had some baseline of an expectation going into it. This one, I don't know anything. It is another really long length of time between films. So what I'm curious is, is it a cash grab sequel or is it another, you know, different idea? Because what can they do? They had Arnold play both sides of the Terminator character in the last movie and the first movie. So what can they do differently? Why did they come back over 10 years later to make a third one? Especially with the timeline being different. I guess they could bring back that arm. I have no idea. Everything I've heard about was I heard how great the second movie was and I'm fucking flying blind from here. So I'm led to believe that the rest of these are not as good, but we'll see. What can they do differently is just all I'm wondering right now. I know there's also like three more sequels or something like after this. I wonder if they ever get to a point where, and this is just random and doesn't mean anything, but I just wonder if there's a point where do they ever go straight to DVD kind of sequel kind of things? Are they always big budget blockbusters? Random thought. It hasn't happened. No bombs fell. Computers didn't take control. Mm, okay, so it did change. All right. I should feel safe, but I don't. So I live off the grid. Where's mom? I've erased all connections to the past. Including mom? What does that even mean? I can't erase my dreams. My nightmares. That's freaky. Was it an artsy transition or something? Or is that what's actually in that fucking river? Artsy transition to the future. Jesus. Oh, look at them coming in guns a-blazing. I like that. That looks cool. And I like it's got a little dirt on it. It's a little dirty. You fucking you went this whole way hiding yourself afraid of fucking terminators and you wipe yourself out because of some fucking deer wow doe i don't fucking know the difference and i don't want to know damn I, I they're already deep into the credits so i didn't get to see if uh what's her name is gonna be in this movie fuck i want to see mom well, this is different girl girl that's a girl Looks like her hair is all hairsprayed and stiffy and shit. So let me guess, they're gonna go girl Terminator. Is that what it's gonna be? Is that what it's gonna be? Who is this lady? I like this car. Uh, what are you? Oh, damn! Yeah, I don't recognize this actress at all. Hmm. Yeah, girl Terminator, here we go. That is different. Why do cops always have to get involved? They're just doing their jobs and they're about to get their asses handed to them for the third movie in a row. God damn it. Interesting. Also, I noticed that it said directed by Jonathan Maslov or something like that. It's not directed by, what's his face? What's his face? Oh my God. Why is the name escaping me? Spielberg? Was it Spielberg? No, it wasn't Spielberg, was it? But we're having some computer problems. No, I know. I know. You can't talk about it. Who the fuck are these people, just... man? I'm the luckiest father in the world, you know. I never had to be afraid for my daughter. Listen, I wow. hate this. I got her. Okay. So I'm going to guess that she's a target then. <laughs> I'm gonna guess that he's gonna have to be afraid for her, huh? Who the fuck are these people, man? And where is Arnold? What's taking him so long? I wanna see some hot Terminator on Terminator action. And I'm not talking about the action we got in the last movies, I'm talking about action. Let's go, here we go. Some familiarity here, let's go. Let's see some Arnold ass action. Bust out the triple A's for me. Come on. Absolutely. I mean, he still looks good. He still looks exactly the fucking same that he did in the first movie. That's crazy. It's like a 20 year difference, 20 year gap. Oh, that's cool. The sand turned to glass. Nice. And our dogs are barking. This franchise has led me to be suspicious of dogs barking. Although there is an intruder in the animal hospital, so that would make a lot of sense why they would be going ape shit. But in the lore of this franchise, there's another reason they go absolutely bonkers. Give me your clothes. Oh, look at that ass. Give me your hat. Let's go, ladies night. 
Oh, well, there's his clothes he's wearing. Arnold's gonna be dressed like a stripper in this movie. Take off your clothes. <laughs> One of the funniest shots in cinema history. <laughs> Talk to the hand. Now. Classic. <laughs> that shot of the glove hitting him in the face was amazing. Oh my god, this fucking shit. You know what? I like it. I think they work. Uh, well, that was harsh. Is she going the wrong way through the drive-thru? No, that looks like the right way through the drive-thru. Why the hell is it like that? Shit, my mom's on. Kristen Bell? That's Kristen Bell. <laughs> hey, rip that kid. Fuck that guy. So is she gonna be our new Sarah Connor? Great. What? Seemed like a mild inconvenience to her. This is the stuff we use to chemically neuter dogs. <laughs> hey. oh. Damn! Oh. Holy shit! Oh. 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 connor has been getting his ass handed Next to him. A clue, not a paintball gun. First a doe hands his ass to him, and then a Jane doe? So, like, everything to her is a mild inconvenience. A man broke into her clinic and pointed a gun at her. She was just like, oh, get the fuck in this cage, man. I'll deal with you later. What the fuck does she deal with on the daily that that's, like, no big deal to her? Also, I've recognized none of the actors other than Arnold, who was already established, and Kristen Bell, who I believe was just an extra. What does that mean? I feel like if this movie was any good, or at least well-received, I should say, because I'm not hating it so far, then these actors would be recognizable to me, because they would have gone on to do more. Right? Is that wrong of me assuming? Jesus! Is somebody with you? I don't know how I'm liking her performance in this movie. Okay, she's starting to look affected now. Don't lick it, don't lick it. What is that, some DNA scan or some shit? No. DNA scan. Well, that's new. I didn't see Arnold do that. Or Robert Patrick. And he was hella advanced. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, damn. What the hell was that about? What are you doing? Oh my god. Holy shit! Come on, Arnold. Any day now. Oh! Jeez! Okay. What the fuck caused that? What the hell caused that explosion? Arnold. Catherine Brewster. You gonna say the thing? What are you doing? He's not saying the thing. He's not even giving her a choice. He's supposed to say, come with me if you want to live. If I tell, tell you, will you let me go? Yes. In, in a... In a the kennel. You, you said that you'd let me go. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Ew. So it's got some of that liquid metal, but it's also got a, an actual skeleton in there. John Connor. Hello. Hey, Dad. Well, that's really advanced. That's new. So what the hell is she bothering with fucking pistols for? Just use that thing. <laughs> hey, he's been on the most wanted list for no two pulse. decades. You can... What the fuck? And you just cut? Okay, thanks for that, I guess. Look at her just walking the fuck around. Remote control, I see. Ah, rough day. Hey, nice bike. Okay, or that. More of a rude way about it, but sure. You bastard, stop the car! Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. 
Oh, this guy's dead. God damn it. Oh, buddy. Help! You got him back there. Oh, What's no. Going on in there? Who's back Calm down. there? Shut up! Who's back there? Shut up! What? What is that reaction? Man told her to shut the fuck up. He could have had someone hostage kidnapped. He just like, hey, shut up. I got something more important going on. Oh. <laughs> That's his company car, man. Girl Terminator is OP. Damn, dude. Holy shit, her remote controls are putting in some work. All right, Jesus, man. We are only a half hour in and you guys are really using up the explosion budget, aren't ya? Holy shit, the destruction. Explosions. Oh my God, there are so many explosions in this movie. <laughs> oh! He kicked that shit over! Oh no, some kids are probably just playing in the front yards! Why are you doing this? This is just a sweet neighborhood! Oh my god, there's like toys in the front yards and shit! Okay, yeah, like... <laughs> the fucking bouncy houses and shit! Wow, how lucky there's no kids, man. You know what? My head cannon, he absolutely just killed some kids. This fucking... Destruction budget. What the hell? God, Arnold, what's the plan, man? <laughs> um, I'm already becoming very desensitized to the shit that's going on in this movie. They're really pulling out all the crazy shit for just this chase scene. They have a whole movie coming up. They should really be spreading some of this out. What the fuck is going on, man? God, this movie is leagues behind the first two. I understand sequels are supposed to be, you know, you're supposed to go bigger, you're supposed to go badder, but I feel like it didn't really serve any purpose there, how many, ex like there were some explosions happening that just did not need to be happening. We've had lot, probably 30 explosions in 30 minutes. That's one explosion per minute. Also, I'm not crazy about this cast so far. There's no one that's sticking out to me other than Arnold. It would have at least been helpful if they had the same actor that played uh, John in the last movie. Is Sarah not gonna show up, by the way? You could not be located, so a TX was sent back through time to eliminate your lieutenants. Lieutenants? But we stopped Judgment Day. You only postponed it. Judgment Day is inevitable. It has to be the arm, right? It's a far more effective killing machine. Oh, great. That's great. Okay. You've got to be shitting me. No, I am not shitting you. <laughs> okay, well, at least we've got Arnold, man. Arnold's gonna carry the hell out of this movie. Jesus, fuck, what is going on? Holy explosions, man. This director really thinks I have the fucking shortest attention span, man. I can handle the movie without an explosion every two minutes, man. Come on. All the junk food, absolutely. <laughs> nice. Hey, hey, are you gonna pay for that? Talk to the hand. <laughs> <laughs> I love Arnold. I love it so much, man. I can watch the rest of this. Even if the rest of the franchise isn't that good, I can watch the rest of it just for Arnold, man. His delivery is comedy gold. Wow, they managed to go to a gas station and it did explode. I'm sorry, I know I've been fucking making fun of the movie a lot. There's a lot of explosions, man. You can't tell me there's not. So you and me, wait, did we? She's engaged, Holy man. Shit. And now, again, 10 years later. Ooh, we were supposed to meet. Coincidence. What is he getting at? Man, I'm just not feeling these characters and these actors, man. I want Sarah Connor. Maybe there's still there's still time for her to show up. Also, they need to explain how Jesus. <laughs> oh. Good morning to him. Well, she's no longer engaged then. There you go. We're looking for Catherine Brewster. Is she here? No. No. Come with me. 
if you want to live. Damn, he's not gonna say it. What the fuck is this spooky ass place? What? Your mother? What? Excuse me. Ninety-seven. That's the day or the year of the original Judgment Day that they prevented, right? What the fuck? Oh shit! What happened to her? Leukemia. I am so pissed that they killed her off. What? I have so many fucking questions, man. Move or I'll do it. I swear I will. I'll shoot you. Oh, Catherine Brewster. Go ahead. <laughs> Did he? Oh, that was so fucking gangster. Don't do that. <laughs> Look at me. I'm no. I'm no leader. I never was. I'm, I'm never gonna. Where is this coming from? Why is he doubting this shit all of a sudden now? You're not the one I want. I'm wasting my time. Fuck you! You fucking machine! Where the fuck is this? Alright. Oh, you were just digging with me? Anger is more useful than despair. Okay, good. I was about to say, if they split up, that would have been real fucking forced, but he was just fucking with them. Toying with them. But they're gonna bring her back to this. Oh! oh He's gonna steer through him. That's disgusting. How did she just, she's only steering. How the fuck did she drift and shit? She doesn't have any control of the brakes. I know what it's like to be in a hostage situation. I've been there myself. Oh, is that the doctor from Fear the second one? The yeah, where Sarah fucking held the poison up to his neck. I think that's him. <laughs> I mean, is John in the casket? Ugh, yeah, well, there had to be one. Zero casual. I was just gonna say, yeah, is he still trying to n not kill anybody? We must reacquire Catherine Brewster. What makes her so goddamn important? She's your wife. Whoa! Dun dun dun! Oh, babe! Hi! Oh, this guy, this actor, this actor's unsettling. You might have been better off just staying in that form as you walked up to her. Explode! <laughs> oh, damn! Hella overkill. But I mean, shit, it's a fucking TX, so. I see a truck that's just begging to explode! Oh, damn! We need a new vehicle. <laughs> Everything's fine. Oh, come on, this poor family's just out here camping. Fuck, is this family anywhere to be found? Look, I know this won't help. But we get married and have kids, so Happy. you'll be fine. She's gone! What the I'm fuck? Sure she, she teleported, she disappeared! Was she just like, ducking down? She was just hiding? Brewster, Robert. My father? Having failed to Not acquire Zaddy. his primary- If you hadn't come back when I was a kid, if everything hadn't changed, she and I, we would have got together then. See, I would have met her father a long time ago. Don't you see? I, I don't understand. This is all about your father. He's the key. He always was. Your father is the one who can shut Skynet down. He's the only one who ever could. What? That makes no damn sense. What? Judgment Day. The end of the world. It's today, three hours from now. Two hours and 53 minutes. Fuck my destiny. John. Ooh, that's brave. Here we go. I can do whatever the hell I want. I'm a human being. I'm not some goddamn robot. Cybernetic organism. <laughs> whatever, either we, because your future, my destiny, I don't want any part of it. I never did. God, you might shoot her at that angle. Please do it. He says you have to save my father. We can reach CIS in approximately one hour, depending huh? on traffic conditions. All right, he's on board. <sighs> so the shit about the father being the key, that doesn't make any damn sense. I feel like they made it quite clear that the fact that they had the chip and the arm from decades in the future was what was able to kick off them assembling shit so early. They made that quite clear. I'm programmed to follow your commands. Her commands? Her. Uh, why didn't he send you back? He was dead. <laughs> damn. 
Internet air traffic power plants. That's that Charlie Day? No, that's Chris Hardwick. Charlie Day. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't getting really fucking bored. Maybe I do need the explosions. But even then, the explosions were boring the hell out of me too, though. I'm just not liking the characters, I think. I feel like the story feels a little forced. I feel like the characters aren't that great. I feel like the cast isn't that great. Who directed the first two? James Cameron, that's who it was. James Cameron. So the fact that this is over 10 years later, no James Cameron, I just imagine the studio is like, let's let's make another one. I don't think this was necessarily James Cameron's idea. I'm pretty sure that uh, the place they left at in the last one made a lot of sense. And I feel like they just kind of came up with something for this one. Who cares if it made that much sense? All that matters is the explosions, man. As long as there's explosions, it'll be fine. Oh, that's not good. Daddy! Katie, what are you doing here? Oh my god! <laughs> Damn, that scared the fuck out of me. She'll be back. Good callback. Good callback. <laughs> Jesus Christ! These robots are just letting everyone have it. I mean, these are very early, early, early models. I'm sure you could take this one on. The T18. Oh shit! He just hit some like Lalo moves, busting through the ceiling. Which ones are the codes? Red envelope. That's a folder, not an envelope. You have to get to Crystal Peak. What? That's the system core. It's wrong, the chance. Oh! The fuck was that? He wanted us to shut Skynet down. Come on. Yeah, come on, let's go, man. Let's go, man. We're talking nuclear fucking war in like an hour. We gotta go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. CG fight. CG fight. Damn, dude. Manhandling her ass. Oh. <laughs> Alright, this is a pretty brutal fight. Ew. Oh, no. His beautiful face. Oh, she just curb stomped his ass. He's done. Oh, and now she's gonna control him. Oh, that's rough. You remind me of my mother. That's a weird ass fucking thing to say to a future wife, huh? Oh, God. I feel like the actress that's playing the girl Terminator, I think she's just trying too hard. It doesn't feel natural, and I, I, I guess that's accurate for a robot, but there was just something about, like, Arnold's performances. He's a robot, you know? He's a robot. It didn't look like he was ever acting at any point. He just, he fit the role so perfectly. But there's just something about her and the way that she's performing that it's just, something just, it feels off. And I swear, that's not the misogynist in me saying this. I just, it, something just doesn't feel right. Oh, easy. All right, we win. A magnet. How come no one's thought of a magnet in three movies? Easy. Let's go. You guys, please move on. Just die, you bitch. Just fucking move. The mission's not killing her. All right, he's all good. His head got knocked off, but he just had to put it back on. It's fine. He's good. Yes. He made it. Ah, he's evil again. Get away from me. <laughs> so he still has control of, like, his brain and shit. She just has motor functions. Let him go! Oh! She just fucking hit her head on that. That's- she's done. She's a concussion. She can't fly a fucking plane. You don't want to do this. Decide. John. You are about to fail that mission. Oh. I can... I cannot. Oh. Stop, it's gonna explode. Can you guys leave? Let's go. Holy fuck. 
Dude, she literally got thrown into that fucking toolbox head first. Did her head up here? Directly, directly into the toolbox. She's donezo. That plane is a nose diving. Oh, just coming in. Another one. A bigger one. <laughs> just ran her over. You are in rough shape, my guy. I'm back. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Oh, he's got to hold it open long enough. Oh, damn. Thank you. We'll meet again. Go. I just fucking knew one of them would do that. Oh, here we go. Big boom. Oh. <laughs> you are terminated. Oh, what a one-liner. I love Arnold. All right, so both Terminators should be now done. Let's go! Oh my fucking God! These two are pissing me off so much. Dude, the C4 is active. Let's fucking go. Sitting staring at the fucking sign. What is she doing? There's nothing here. This is a fallout shelter for VIPs. God damn it. What? What the fuck does that even mean though? Dad sent you guys here. Did dad think that there was no way of shutting it down so he sent these two to the fallout shelter to be safe? Why did he lead us down here? To live. That was his mission. Well, let's turn the C4 off then. How about that, huh? Hello? Hello? Can somebody hear me? It's an interesting direction then. There is no stopping it, so they just kind of have to let it happen. That would be kind of a dark ending. Connor? Can you help us? This is Montana Civil Defense. Why did you say you again? Her fiance died like today. There was no system core. True. It could not be shut down. True. Judgment Day. The day the go. human race was nearly destroyed the by ultimate the weapons explosion. they built to protect themselves. This might be a satisfying explosion. Our destiny was never to stop Judgment Day. It was merely to survive it. Together. Now you can't stop Judgment Day, you're no Sarah Connor. Maybe the future has been written. I don't know. All I know is what the Terminator taught me. Never stop fighting, and I never will. Hey, big guy. Oh, his light. Oh, rest in peace, Arnold. Cliffhanger ending? What the hell? All right, well, that was Terminator 3, The Rise of the Machines. And while I do think the movie overall felt very pointless and it felt very forced and it felt just boring for the most part, I do like the ending. I like the darker, grim ending. I like that they went a different direction. They didn't stop Judgment Day. Their destiny was to let it happen. And the message was a little bit different than it was at the end of the last movie and for that matter, the beginning of this movie because I believe he had a monologue saying that the future is not written and it ended with him saying maybe it is. Maybe we are fucked. So I find that interesting. And I guess that's it's setting up the next movie, which will take place in the middle of the apocalypse. I don't know, man. Yeah, overall, there's not really anything crazy that I'm impressed about in this movie. I think I liked Arnold, you know, but I mean, even he, I feel like, took a step down. I, I think it was just the script, but I think even Arnold, like, Arnold was great. He was easily the highlight of this film, but he could have been so much better. Like, he had great moments, but he just didn't live up to the last two movies, especially not the last one, which I guess it is a very difficult bar, but I just feel like it didn't really hit the same in terms of his performance even though i still think he did fine for what he was given i do think where he lacks wasn't exactly his fault i do feel like the story was pointless this movie did not have to be made I mean, I don't like the fact that they killed off Sarah Connor. I don't know if the actress was just unavailable. So like, fuck it, we'll kill her off. You know, let's not leave any potential for her to come back in like a cameo or for her to come back in the next movie. I don't like that the fact that they definitively, they were just like, all right, you know what? Fuck it. She died. That's it. She's dead. I never like when movies do that, especially off camera, off screen deaths. Leukemia, I guess, is a realistic way to go. But I don't know. I'd, I'd rather awesome character like hers. I think you want to see her go out in a blaze of glory on screen, you know, in front of you. You want to see it. If you're going to kill her off to leukemia, show us a flashback, man. At least, man. Let us see her. They did a little bit of retconning as well. They tried to retcon that in the last movie, it was all about Catherine's dad and that them destroying the chip and the arm didn't stop Judgment Day. It only delayed it because that guy 
was the key. I don't fucking know. It's so confusing. The arm that got left behind didn't play into it whatsoever, which maybe it wouldn't because there was no chip. It was just an arm. So if it was found, it's like, hey, look, it's this arm. But I feel like there would be more to it. And the fact that they caught up to the Skynet stage so quickly, I feel like it happened so quickly in a matter of, what, five years, 1997? Or, I mean, I don't remember when exactly what year the second movie takes place, but I feel like the advancement in technology happened really fast like them finding the chip in the second movie was apparently such a big deal that rushed judgment day but it was only like fucking five years like it wasn't that big of a deal if you think about it like that you know i feel like without that chip you'd expect that delay to be 30 years 40 years 50 years something around that range not fucking less than 10 that's not a very substantial gap in technological advancement i don't know man maybe i'm just like maybe i have that all wrong maybe i'm just fucking i mean i mean i am confused this story confused the shit out of me i didn't really feel any of the characters i didn't even really i wasn't liking john even it just didn't feel like the same character at all the recasting definitely felt weird i didn't like any of the newer included characters Catherine, i wasn't crazy about her the casting i don't think was very good i think the lady that played the female terminator i think she was okay question mark like i feel like there were moments where she looked like she was trying so fucking hard. It looked like she was trying to act like a robot versus, you know, Arnold in the last movies and Robert Patrick, who just, they were robots. I don't know, man. I hope my complaints are sounding like they make enough sense. I hope I'm making sense. I wasn't crazy about this film. As a matter of fact, it's leading me to want to take a break from the Terminator franchise. I don't know what the quality of the films are from this point on. I don't know if they get better from here, if they get worse from here, if they're about the same. But there was nothing special about this movie. It felt like, you know, explosions, explosions, explode just for the sake of it, you know? I felt like they wanted to... 2003, and 2003 is the year the fucking Return of the King came out, so I guess they had some competition but it's like the studio was like you know we need a big action blockbuster but we don't know what to do oh let's make a terminator film hey james cameron you want to make another terminator he's like no i i left it at a very good spot i think it would not make any sense to pick up where we left off and the studio's like you know what all right fuck you we'll make our own and so they just kind of came up with this felt like we got very generic action set pieces i i did think that the chase scene with the giant truck through all the streets was pretty cool i know that they probably had to have a quite a bit of budget into that because there was a lot of fucking destruction a lot of explosions but i do think it, it maybe went on a bit long maybe there was too much going on because at, at a point i just got desensitized i was like okay i get it the fucking destruction all right i get it you're flipping cars you're hitting cars I get it. I get it. Well, that's all I got to say about Terminator 3. I definitely want to come back to this franchise soon, but I think for now, I think I want to take a break. 